Well, this was a heck of a night. It was fun, certainly. But, uh, well, as you can probably tell by the title of this video, very bad things happened. But that's okay, because we had fun, and that was, that was the main point of it, was that we were supposed to have fun. So last time, after I had horribly caused the death of who knows how many civilians by throwing plasma grenades at the bottom of an apartment building or something like that, which was probably something that could be considered a, an act of terrorism or the like. Uh, well, we decided to infiltrate the building to get into the place where we wanted to get, which was like some kind of control headquarters or the other for the laser satellite that caused all kinds of bullshit. So, me as a con, cogniz, and a commander, uh, what, what, what's his name again? Uh, Warmonger. Commander Warmonger, Khan, and Cognis went in through the bottom elevator area, or at least that's how we entered the building, and blindside along with Slayer and Machiavelli, uh, and who else? There's someone else. Ah, Mr. Smith, let's not forget Mr. Smith, went in through the top, um, and we pretty much had to get through different barriers. There was a barrier on the top and there was a barrier on the bottom. The barrier on the top was a lot thicker and so it was worked on by both Machiavelli and Slayer with laser swords. Um, the one on the bottom I worked on with another laser sword as Khan. It was much thinner so we made our way into the elevator easily enough but then we cut open the top of the elevator and instead of taking the elevator car up to the floor we were trying to get to, we uh, climbed up through the elevator shaft, made our way along those, uh, along those lines. We make our way up and I start looking for another way that we can get in. We find an air vent, so very sneakily, Khan, which is my character, goes through and he uh, spreads himself out along the air vent making it easy for Cognis and Commander Warmonger to make their way through the vent without making too much noise. When we get to the end of the vent, slurp back into a normal form, and I, we check out the place. We can see that there is a group of Finns and their commander, and there's also a Visori guy, along with some really souped up looking drones and a bunch of normal drones and some engineers and stuff. And so, the way that my character decides to open the confrontation is shoot the guy in charge and he kills him outright. Just two shots totally takes him down. It goes wonderfully. Um, everyone else gets into battle. Uh, Mr. Smith trans had gotten into the building as like a little tiny mosquito or mite or something like that. And so they didn't really target him or notice him. He uh, suddenly transforms into a freaking troll, landing on one of the drones, starts fighting him. A bunch of the guys, including uh, not only uh, not only does uh, Blindside come in, but so does Machiavelli. They start fighting with the drones. They're having like this huge back and forth. Meanwhile, Cognis, the commander, and Khan are trapped up against a wall because, uh, well, we took several pot shots at them from inside of the vent, but then we didn't think, well, you're in the vent, you have no chance to dodge. And the commander guy, like, ordered a whole bunch of dudes to basically just rain total hellfire upon us while we were inside of the vent. And they completely, they shot us up a whole lot. Um, we came out of it alive from that. That wasn't the big problem. The big problem was that uh, after we came out of that alive, we had to take a turn to get unshaken, which unfortunately, uh, all we managed to do was get unshaken, but we were just kind of standing there, so they got to take another turn, and when they took another turn, the commander of the Finns basically ordered a whole bunch of little mini drones to form together at once, and they gave him like a super power surge, and he laser breathed me and I died like Zapelli 
in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, completely cut in half, was totally wrecked and destroyed by that. Um, everyone, when when my character went down, uh, Mr. Uh, Machiavelli decided that it was time for him to get the hell out because he saw that things were going south. Smith ditched on us. Our uh, our, our ally Cognus uh, pretended to surrender after they absolutely destroyed Commander War. Uh, Commander Warmonger got like shot by every single one of them so many times. He like was practically turned into bullet pulp. And then Cognus pretended to surrender, but he was actually quietly using his tentacles to activate warp shunts on my character and on the commander and on himself. But unfortunately, Cognus got caught trying to use his warp shunt. And as that happened, they took it from him, so he wasn't able to escape. When, uh... When Blindside realized that Cognus was not going to escape and that he had no way of escaping, Blindside made a judgment call. He decided that Cognus, unfortunately, knew too much about where our base was and that the whole party would be compromised if Cognus fell into enemy hands. And Blindside, as I told you before, he had a propensity for blowing things up. Well, fortunately for the commander and technically for my body, uh, Khan that is, our warp shunts activated and we were taken away. And Blindside was the only one left, along with Cognis, in a room full of hostile fins. And he made that judgment call, which was he was going to set off every explosive he had ever bought, ever, all at once. And he basically released the power of an entire packet of C4 and something like 12 claymore mines and proton grenades and an entire thing full of cyanide and just it unfortunately of course both he and Cognis were completely obliterated past the point of oblivion they were blown to smithereens completely destroyed. There was nothing left of that building or of any of the equipment we had been hoping to take control over. The entire thing was a complete pooch screw. When the commander arrived back at base, he was uh, patched together by our, uh, by our wizard friend Grigori. And his magic could only do so much. He was horribly disfigured and scarred and permanently marked with arcane markings and burns and everything else you can possibly imagine. And now he literally needs to receive magical treatment from Grigori once a week or he will die. It is pretty much guaranteed. And unfortunately, Cognus was the only one in our party other than the commander who had any kind of repairing skills. And even though part of Khan's body was recovered, there was nobody who could actually repair him. So, unfortunately, it seems that Khan has died. And so his adventure in Savage Worlds comes to a close. For the moment, for this chapter at least, for you see, we have plans, we have interesting plans, you see, the Commander Warmonger desires 
to have Khan back, and he will try and repair him at some point in the future. The uh, hope is that he will come back as a novice character when he is able to acquire a sidekick, which will be several sessions down the way. Khan will be back. In the meantime, and this is something that I actually find rather fun as a prospect, I'm going to get to make a new character for Savage Worlds, which uh, I've actually kind of been wanting to make another character to play in this campaign anyways, so I'm not really um, dissatisfied with this. I do take an experience penalty, of course, so to speak, but it's all right. Things will continue, and next week, I will have a new character to introduce all of you to, and we will tell you how the adventure continues, because as we have last left off, after the death of Khan and Cognus and Blindside, salute to them, they are heroes among villains. Or something like that. Well, with them gone, now a new chapter begins for Scorpion, and a new chapter begins in Star City. See you in the next episode with more Savage Worlds.